the neutral took over. So we got to keep fighting them. And you lay it out there, and then people start thinking, wow, you know, this exists on the face of the earth, and it's happening, and, and look at all the pros and cons about how you would go about controlling such a thing. Big old rat. No two films are ever alike. Rodents of an Unusual Size is just one of 68 documentaries in this year's Docutaw Film Festival. Because it's not your typical variety film festival, Doc Utah is growing just like the digital film program at Dixie State University. Because the films are well done and they're controversial and they're right at the heart of what traditionally documentary films are meant to do. That's to provoke a discussion and to maybe make you think about the world in a little different way than that hardened area that you were in before you saw it. This year, many of the films will be debuted at a new venue. The Red Cliffs Mall will be the host site for Doc Utah. We were looking for something that maybe could be a home for us, so we're really excited that we were able to use this Red Cliffs Theaters this year, and we have a real theater venue. The parking lot affords us plenty of parking. With 68 films featured from 14 countries and four doc talks, the audience will also be wowed by seven special events. We have two skateboarding movies, and in between those two skateboarding movies, we're going to have a skateboarding exhibition in the parking lot. Some of the people who are in the movie are actually planning on coming up from Vegas to show off their skills, so that's exciting. The free movie, How They Got Over, will be a drive-in movie on a blow-up screen held in the parking lot. We will uh, program the audio right into their car on an FM channel, and they can bring chairs. And the How They Got Over is about how gospel music led to the beginning of rock and roll and hip-hop. Many times it involves the audience as well as the filmmakers. Our filmmakers always tell us that they get treated better at our events and our festival than anywhere else because it's intimate and we let them you know, express themselves and meet and mingle for real with the audience. Leading the film festival in 2018 is a locally supported film called Dreams of the Black Echo. The film is produced by Vietnamese students and half is produced by students here in America. It's all about one seven month event in the Vietnam War, which they call the American War, that uh, is looked at from both sides. The Vietnamese people who fought in that war look at it from their perspective through their prism, and the American veterans look at it through theirs. But it's the same, same battle. These are the people that actually fought in the war, including a woman who was 14 at the time and was a uh, infantry soldier for the uh, Viet Cong that f she fought in the war at that time and we interviewed her in the site uh, that the war took place, the Quezon Marine Fire Base. Tuckett said this documentary was a huge undertaking because of the language barrier. And there was just enough English that was floating on the surface that we got to a point where we put all the cameras out in the room and started showing the students the cameras and then the language didn't matter. During the festival, people will also be able to buy tickets on site at the Red Cliffs Theater. Tickets are available online at docutaw.com or they can be purchased at the Cox Auditorium at Dixie State University. And we have reason to believe that we are approaching uh, a point where we have as good a documentary only festival as any other in the country or the world. You ever heard of New ah. Melissa ah. Anderson with Community Education News.